Oh my god everyone, my special package has arrived. Hi everyone, Spider Man here. Well, as I've been saying all week, I have a special package that's going to arrive and here it is. So, I'm going to open it up and show you what I've got. Uh, this is the enclosure it's going to be going in. If I can close my curtain and see it a bit more better. So, a water dish, a hide and loads and loads of substrate in this nice tall enclosure uh, anybody guess what it is yet well let's show you what it is everyone uh, so let's open the box for you guys so there goes everyone i like to uh, put my uh, iphone on a tripod it's just makes it a lot lot easier Now, uh, what we have in here is something that I've been after for the last probably, what, I don't know, six years. And I've always thought they're a bit expensive, but I thought, ah, why not? Treat myself and let's get uh, something that I haven't had in my collection for a while. I would say at least, I don't know, over at least 18 months, I haven't had uh, this particular uh, invert in my collection. So let's just open the uh, lid, everyone. Let's just take the package out. And it's just there, guys. Any ideas what it could be? No? Well, let's just put my phone there. Oh my god, there it is. The most rarest centipede in the world, guys. This is a Scolopendra Giante white leg. Now, if you've been watching my um, videos for a while, I've had a Scolopendra uh, Galapenensis, the Darwin's Goliath centipede. That was around about a nine and a half inch uh, specimen. Uh, unfortunately, it died. I think it died from old age. Uh, I've had a Scolopendra hard wiki, the tiger, Indian tiger centipede. That was about seven inches, but I fell on bad times and I had to sell it because I needed the money. So we all know, we all know how rare these centipedes are and how expensive they are. They are very, very expensive. Um, one uh, particular gentleman in America. Um, he's been after one of these for six years and he can't get one anywhere. So yeah, I have a centipede back in my collection at last. Uh, I haven't had, a, as I said, I haven't had a centipede for a long time at this size. Uh, this is a seven inch uh, female. So these can easily obtain 11 to 12 inch in body length. Uh, I said, so this is only a sub adult. So yeah. The most rarest centipede in the world, a Scolopendra Gianti white leg. So, let's get the enclosure and put her into her new home. So, here goes everyone. Let's put her into a new enclosure. So, I'll have to just lean it upon like that. Now, uh, I've, as I said, I've had a few large centipedes in the past. Uh, another one that I had was a Scolopendra Diani, and that escaped. So I'm going to be extra careful with this one. At this price I paid, I don't want it to escape. So if I just put my camera just there, guys. So I really don't want to get bit by this centipede. So I've got to be extra careful. So I have my two foot tongues. I'm just going to undo the uh, lid, let it, uh, let it just come out of itself. I've got some sphagnum moss in there as well, so I'm going to put that in the enclosure as well. So all it's trying to do, it's all it's, it's just trying to burrow and escape, just trying to. Oops. Oh my god. Oh 
It's all right, it's just searching around. It is a massive size. There it is just there. Oh my god. Looking absolutely stunning everyone. See? Now with centipedes, it said it was around about a seven inch in body length, so you have to have at least eight to nine inches from the floor to the top so it can't escape. So I've just got my tongs ready just in just in case it uh tries to run off. But yeah. Scalopendra Gianti white leg. So water dish and a hide and loads of substrate for it to burrow. Centipedes love to burrow, so if you guys do get a centipede, please put loads of substrate in. They do love to burrow. So yeah. More special unboxing. I hope everybody was loved the weight. So it's going inside its hide now. So it has a chance to hide under its log or um, burrow as well. So it's got that choice. So let's just quickly throw this um, sphagnum moss in there as well. Uh, sphagnum moss, if you didn't know, that holds a lot of humidity. That's why people use uh, sphagnum moss. Uh, a lot of people... Um, when they pack centipedes, I do put a sphagnum moss. Obviously, this is the gentleman that's done it as well. So a lot of people do it like that. But yeah, um, my probably the second gem in my collection. My first is my Tiapophysi. So if I did give up the hobby, which I probably would never do, I'll keep this one and my Tiapophysi. The two I'd never sell. So yeah, let's get the lid on. So I don't really want it to get out. <laughs> So let's put the lid on there for you guys. So what I'll do is now, I'll put that on there and then I'll put something fairly heavy on the actual, um, on the lid so it can't get out. Oh, it's come out to uh, say hello, probably because I've just disturbed it a little bit. So yeah. See how it's trying to get up, but it only can get up so far. So the only thing I'm worried about is it, it getting on that log and trying to get onto that log and in there. So that's why I'm going to put something that's... Uh, that's really tight. So it's getting to at least there. I'm just going to watch it, see what it does. See, it's trying to... Yeah, it's climbed on the lid already. So I've just got to watch it. Don't try and... This is why I've got a little hole there, you see. So that's why I've put it there instead. So I've just got to watch it. Don't try and get out. But it should be okay in there. As long as I put something that's uh, fairly heavy on top of the lid. So yeah, my surprise package and... Uh, Thanks for watching everyone.